After having spent a month in Tokyo and three weeks in Osaka and Kyoto, it was finally time for me to return to Tokyo for another month before embarking on chapter two of my journey. So how do you spend a month in Tokyo when you've already spent a month in Tokyo? Well, after briefly unpacking my things, I made my way over to Tokyo Tower because there was a little event on in my favorite color. But today is no ordinary day. It is a special festival day. Can you see the moon there? And Tokyo Tower here. It is a Tsukimi, which is a moon viewing festival. And there was the only day Tokyo Tower is all purple, and I love purple, so I had to come and see it. But other than that, I'm drained. So I'm doing some shopping and going home now. But that's the start of Tokyo. I spent the rest of the evening exploring Roppongi a little bit because it's quite close to Tokyo Tower. But what I was really looking forward to came the very next day. So my first full day in Tokyo. What am I doing again? I'm sitting down at Delia, my favourite Japanese musical performance. And this time it's better. So I'm here in a good row to look for the performance, look around for a bit, got some things I want to see, and then I'm going to enjoy the show. And this one thing, I'm not going to go into it because it's expensive, but I might as well have a look and see what's going on. He needed a ticket to get in there, which I didn't have, so I only just found out this existed 10 seconds ago. Um, that's fine. Now I actually came here early because I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center because my chopsticks broke. And I may as well get some new chopsticks. And I just happened to walk past the venue, not even meaning to, so now I know where I'm going. At least now, get some chopsticks. It's really nice to the same one as I was Plastic chopsticks because I've never had any plastic ones in my life before, so I thought, why not try them? The last ones broke because they were wooden, so maybe these will be a bit better. Who knows? Yeah, they so just walked into a cosplay convention. I didn't, I didn't know that was on set. I just literally saw like some Naruto cosplayers in the mall. I was like, where are they going? That seems interesting, and then bam. Um, my performance is in under an hour, so I'm not going in, but I'm still like. Interested. Yeah, I looked it up online. You need to buy a ticket in advance. You can wander through the main hall section, I guess. Nothing more. That's, that just feels weird to just go in a random shopping mall. Fine. But I guess it just have to go in a convention centre. So, uh, yeah, just um, have another little walk around until my performance, I guess. Maybe get something to eat? I don't know. And here we are. There's a bit of a queue outside, it looks like. Um, it was absolutely amazing to see them both together for the first time and it was in a venue of about only 150 people so it was really memorable. So memorable apparently that I didn't record anything afterwards and just enjoyed my udon. This is Japan which is just like trusty the public for a lot. There's an emergency button there. Stop the it, I guess. And that would be so much of it. Nagano Deli did some strange short-lived NFT crossover and it meant they were just doing some outfits in Harajuku so I came over to have a look. There's not much of them out in the real world so it was nice to just see them somewhere. It's been about two months ago now, I was looking forward to coming back to Ueno Park in the daylight. I thought most of the way to my next trip in Tokyo. And now here I am. It is beautiful. I came and noticed the skateboarding and this scientist you can't. So I don't know if that's near. People just don't care at night. But at the day, there's no skateboarders here. Honestly, while I'm watching back this footage and editing it, I just feel so nostalgic about the time in this park. It was just such a lovely place to discover the different historical parts, the shrines, the pagodas. And there's a lot more to see in every... And there's a lot to see in every different direction. In fact, I missed a massive pond here on my first visit. So if you're in a winner, you can take a long look around. But Weno is much more than its park. There is a 
budding shopping district all around it where you can find basically everything you want. And this particular street is very popular. And for today, it's actually only a 15 minute walk from Akihabara, which is where I wanted to spend my evening. I recommend this shop in particular for chocolate. I'm going to look around now here actually looking for cards. We're going to run a bunch of card shops from the cheapest price and that's kind of fun. Alright, I looked all around Akiba and the first four or five shops I went in had everything that was the best prices. I went in about 15. So, I had a long trek to not, but at least it was interesting to look. Now I have 8,000 less yen because cards are expensive. Today I've been on a very circular walk. Got the train to Shinjuku, walked down to Shibuya, and now walking back to my house. And it's taken me down this lovely street on Google. This is why I like doing it. it looks like a dead end, might even be. Just middle of Tokyo, but you feel like you couldn't be further from anywhere else in the world. Does that make sense? Probably not. I think it is a dead end. We're on the wrong way. Another new day, and this time I went to Yokohama instead of Tokyo. It's been a little while since I've been here, but I had business in the city, so I got my way down and had a look at the sights this time and got to appreciate all the ocean view. I didn't go in this building. So I just had to go and pay 1,020 yen to get my suke card because I lost it. Got a new one. Um, slight hitch. I didn't realise it only had 1,100 yen in it. So I gained a total of 100 yen for going to the station twice and paying for the train to get there. But the, the killer is it costs 500 yen to get a new card just by yourself. So I saved a few hundred yen for a lot of effort. I thought I had more money on that. <laughs> But not to let my trip be wasted, I already had plans in Shinjuku for the day anyway, as I visited for the first time Shinjuku Gyoen. This is one of the most well-known parks in Tokyo, and it is quite nice. As I visited this time, I felt it didn't have quite the impact as the other parks I've been to have, as this is much larger but somehow there's less to see. This changes when Sakura season comes around, but this visit was merely good. And after enjoying the park, I paid a visit to the main area of Shinjuku and happened upon the brand new Disney store, which I enjoyed looking at. And the postcards they sell there are just so good. Now, this one is one I remember. I was in Don Quixote, like I normally am. And I was at the checkout. And I went to go and pay, and I got a coin out of my bag. And I dropped it. There's one yet. I didn't really care. But I actually needed the exact change. And it didn't just drop it, it rolled. It landed perfectly with such momentum that it rolled literally about 10 meters down the store. So I had to chase it. <laughs> this one fucking yen coin. And then like the employees like kind of came out and went back in. And I think they were smiling. I smiled as well. All I love that this silly guy at the end. I find finding words I already know in context I wasn't expecting. Also cruising me off because I said ohashi, which I know means chopsticks. I didn't know Donkey Kong provided chopsticks and I've got noodles from them quite a few times. I haven't been asked before, so maybe they were just trying to be extra diligent. Maybe that's normal, but I had some chopsticks. I was like, wait, what does that mean? I know, but I just didn't expect it. Then the next evening, I went somewhere quite special and it was also quite rainy. 
This was my first time in this area of Tokyo and there was an exhibit on showing this moon which looks just like it would in real life to scale and it was quite a surreal thing. I just spent 10 minutes looking all around all the different craters before I went to go and enjoy the actual area. This is quite a unique part of Tokyo, a lot of old clove shops and vintage and all that kind of style, but it was cool to see it, somewhere I hadn't been before. Sunday, this is a hell of a lot more packed than that. This is more what I expected to see. You can't really, you can't really walk too easily. That's part of the fun. So, let's go. I wanted to visit this place three times. Once as soon as I came during the quietest period I could basically. Now it's a Sunday, this is, I would assume, as busy as it gets in regular Japan. And I'm going to come back to Tokyo at least once more in January slash June. So comparing those and seeing the tourism increases, this area is going to be like prime real estate to see how much that changes because every tourist is going to come here. So right now it's busy, but not... <laughs> you don't feel like you're in a tin of sardines or whatever appropriate metaphor exists. I've seen a sex and they're lovely and I've realised that I had a bit of time to kill. I was going to spend more time around there but I've not even gone across this bridge towards the giant thing. The Tokyo sky trees, I don't think I'm going to go up today. But let's have a little look to see what's over here. Or I could go on to the Haki Harbour place on that. And you know, somehow the Skytree never came on my list of places to visit, but it was actually a lovely area. So the area around it was amazing. There was a lovely shopping mall that had a bunch of different different shows, different merch. There was a freaking Penny Lane cafe, which was really surprised me, and I sent it to my grandma. And then just a bunch of other anime merch and a Kirby cafe, which I am really looking forward to getting to go to eventually. Just gotta get a booking. The only downside of the Sky Tree area is I did get someone say hello to me before it was nice, but later turned out to be a cultist. But that's a Today's story really for later. The best laid plans you can break apart in fantastic ways. I mean, it's not that fantastic. It just I intended to go to Osaka and then go down to Akihabara, but I thought I literally saw the Sky Tree and thought, hey, I'll wander over there. I didn't know there was a Pokemon Center or a jump shop or a Kirby. I didn't know Kirby cafes existed. I'm going to the Kirby Cafe today because you need a reservation for it. But as I will be returning to Tokyo. I can just book it in for then. Or there was one in Nagoya I could go to. So basically, I don't need to rush. It's worth looking at what other people find interesting. So I just found that wonderful picture of Tokyo Sky Tree because some people were just stood taking a picture of it. What they took a picture of? Oh, that's gorgeous. I 
And honestly, given the lack of rivers really prominent elsewhere in Tokyo, just walking along this river was a really nice little diversion. And I finished off the day playing some magic in Africa. I think that's the donkey hotel takes, of course I am. I don't think they stop the milk I want, but I'll double check. And uh, nothing else anime related here, just played some magic. So there's a lot of bad things to say about TikTok, and that is relevant because there's two good things I have to say about it right now. Because while I'm in Tokyo, because while sadly I do scroll on the feed more than I should, it does occasionally bring me something useful to do in Tokyo. First was this massive moon, that happens to be on the same train line for me, so I went and saw that, and it was a lovely old little time, and it was nice to see the area as well. The second is that someone said that Jupiter's going to be the most visible it's going to be in the sky today, and you can see it with binoculars. Now, I don't have binoculars, and I've Googled, I don't have a way to access them in Japan without buying them. I'm not doing that. But it did lead me to Google stargazing, and I found a lovely little park that's only a pound away on the train. So, my plan is that I'm going to go there and at least look in the sky, and hopefully you can see it, because a lot of Tokyo is a bit hard, but, the, but Google said you can see it here. And if not, it's a reason to go somewhere that I would not go to otherwise. So... Without further ado, let's see what that leads to. I just started playing Pokemon Go recently. I think it's hilarious that I saw a Pokestop. I saw a Pokestop at the post office, so I might think, oh, I need to go in here. The first place isn't the main attraction on my list, it was just somewhere that was on the way. Just a random garden, so let's see how it looks. I think Google led me astray with the autumn colours. It's fine, it's, it's, it's not worth coming here just for this place, but it's, you know, it's... Uh, I thought of coming here just to see this, but that wasn't the aim anyway. It's a fine three minute distraction at best. Okay, I lied. I like watching this butterfly. It feels like I'm playing Animal Crossing. We don't get butterflies this interesting in England. They're just so big. It's cool. All right, odd building time. Look at this. And it's a funeral home, so clearly not somewhere I'm going to go and have a look around for fun. That's the very distinct building. Sombre. Again, I enjoy walking around these random roads. It reminds me that it's still Tokyo. The last place I went when I said that was actually Saitama, which is technically different. But this is just Tokyo, and there's nothing more than all sort of side. And this is another case. Exploring. Seeing what I find. Well, I say exploring, exploring Google Maps. I didn't know the Toho Cinema was in this area. I didn't know there'd be a nice little Godzilla statue to take a little selfie with, but I arrived here and just like looked around on Google for 10 seconds as I was sitting down. Thought, oh, I may as well go and have a look at that. It's 20 minutes away, right? So, got a little bit longer to kill for where I want to go. So, just keep doing that. It's a nice way to spend the day. Now this straight ahead is the type of view I like. It's a very slight incline going uphill that kind of blocks the view, which means, you know, in about 15 seconds, you kind of hopefully see something that's been worth walking 20 minutes for. Glove on the floor. No, it's uh, whatever this is. It looks somewhat industrial, looks like a very big building. Or maybe it's a bridge. And, okay, it's not quite what I thought, it's just a bunch of tarmac. I thought this was where the river was. There's a river very close to here that I'm walking to. I thought that was it, but that's not it. That's just tarmac. So let's try it again.
And I think from the route I've chosen, this is as close as I can get to the river. I can just about see it there, but there's a lot of things between us, so. But that wasn't why I came here. I'm now heading to my final destination for the area. It's just a park to watch the sunset in and maybe see Jupiter, because apparently that's today. But I feel like I might have set off a little bit early, because I'm, I'm there and there's not much else to do, and I'm feeling chill, so I guess that's fine. What kind of effect is my phone doing? It's crazy. That's better. I think it was just some water on my phone. Um, so I went to Daiso earlier. If you don't know, Daiso is the Poundland store. But I tried to buy an Amiibo, which is 10 pence each. Um, and like, I kind of didn't realize I forgot what store I was in. So I had to buy 10. And this is a new flavor. So bonus Amiibo, Halloween edition. See if it tastes any good. Otherwise I've got 10 to eat. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. What flavour was it? I couldn't read on the front what flavour was, I tried. This is all mine, which is that delicious. Con... Con... Poca? Corn po Maybe corn? I, like, the main flavour I like is corn, so... That is... pretty good. I'll eat the other nine. Not right now, but... So I arrived at the park that was promised. Cicadas are buzzing all around as night draws near. And luckily it was quite a big park so I had plenty of places to wander and explore as I waited for night to come and to let me try and see the stars. So it's not very dark as you can't see, but Google has not led me astray. In this park, when I look up to the sky, I guarantee my camera will not make it. But there is a few stars in the sky, and one straight ahead shines out more than most. You can actually just about see it. And that, I am going to choose to believe, is Jupiter. And I have come out here to see it, and it has worked. I didn't really come out here to see it. A lot of my times when I'm exploring, it's just, it's a happy excuse that I thought, oh, I could come here and it's somewhere I've never been before. And maybe I'll achieve this random thing, maybe not, but I'll still enjoy looking around, which I have. And then this is just the cherry on the cake. And now there's one last little place I can walk to, which would be interesting. And then a half hour walk back to the train station. While I said there was just one thing, that is technically true, because I got on that train and then went to Shibio, because that was my connection anyway, but I thought, I just want to get off and walk around at night a bit, so I explored Shibio a bit more.
And there's still a lot more to come for what I did in Tokyo on this month, but this is a wonderful place to end it here. So thanks for watching, and next time we're going to go to the Ghibli Museum.